The car on offer today is a 1956 Ferrari 250 GT Tour de France. The TDF in general actually was never known by the factory as the TDF. It was sort of given that, that name as a result of racing. Olivia Gendenbein won the Tour de France in 1956 outright. From there, the, the car was given its sort of moniker by Ferrari enthusiasts, and, and Ferrari sort of unofficially then started calling it the TDF. The car that Arm Auctions is offering is actually only one of nine built. It has vertical headlights, an all aluminum body. It's probably one of the most attractive looking cars out of the, the TDF series. John Amet, who's a very knowledgeable gentleman in, uh, in Newport Beach, who does the certification program for Ferrari on the West Coast, did a very thorough inspection of the car. Uh, in 2007, the owner of 0585 contacted us at Ferrari Newport Beach with the interest of having the Tour de France submitted into the Classique Certification of Authenticity program at the factory. We initiated that uh, activity, which is quite comprehensive, and in 2008, we received the Certificate of Authenticity signed by Piero Ferrari. Eligibility for a Ferrari to be submitted and entered into the Classica program is on several fronts. 0585, the Tour de France, would actually qualify for every one of them. A car has to be 20 years or older. It has to be a race car, with the exception of the challenge cars, or a limited edition car. With the Certificate of Authenticity comes the portfolio, in the center of which is the application document. All of the images, all of the data, all of the numbers, all the additional information that is provided. And that will remain with a certified car for all future reference. This car has triple Weber carburetors. It has a Colombo 250 engine, V12. The design by Scadietti is, is, is timeless. It's, it's one of the nicest Ferrari designs, I think, that ever came out of the Marinello factory. The Tour de France was really the first successful race car in the 250 series. Um, the, the 250 Testarossa, the GTO, which everybody knows, the 250 short wheelbase Berlinettas, the California Spiders, everything sort of evolved uh, uh, from the, the 250 GT chassis. Well, the Colombo motor, of course, that's, it, that's in the TDF, it's a 128 um, LM block. Performance is obviously of, of, of a racing, uh, racing level of 1956, although the cars could actually be driven on the street. And that was the intention of, of, of long distance sports car racing, was that those sports cars should bear you know, a resemblance, a reality to, to road cars. In later years, we don't see that in, in competition sports cars, especially in the current generation. These were race cars that literally could be driven to the event, raced successfully, and driven back home. It's quite an important car. The, the example that we have was restored in the late 90s, and it has a very fascinating history. In 1965, Disney Studios purchased it for use in the movie The Love Bug, which everybody's quite familiar with Herbie, the, the VW Beetle. This car was originally painted red with, uh, with white and blue stripe down the middle and was used in the movie Herbie in that, in, in that livery. So it's very well recognized, has kind of a neat Hollywood connection and tie to it. We often tell people when they're looking at various generations of Ferraris, they are not all the same. 0585 is, is particularly nice for, for me personally, not overly restored, not uh, um, taken to some degree or level of finish that they possibly didn't have when they were brand new. So its originality and its real condition is, from our point of view, nice to see, rather than an overly restored vehicle that is virtually unusable. In terms of TDFs, this particular car is about as good as it gets, it's the ultimate TDF, so to speak. I can tell you, it drives fantastic. The sound after three or 4,000 RPM just becomes incredible. The owner of this particular car, he's a well-known gentleman in Southern California. He's collected probably the most important Ferraris ever built. RMs had the opportunity to work with this gentleman in the past and have sold several fantastic examples for him. He's had some amazing, amazing cars. It's been a great experience to work with him. We're truly honored. These cars never come up for auction, let alone come up for sale uh, privately.
So it's a true privilege for Arm Auctions to represent this car on behalf of the owner. We expect great results at the auction. It should be one of the highlights of the Monterey Pebble Beach weekend.